Well, that's just a little turbulence. Why are you so nervous, love? I, I don't know. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh, it, it's been a while since you... It's nothing. I'll be fine. Just make sure that cargo's secure. Everything looks fine back here. Things are shifting a little bit. Damn it! All right, that was quite a belt. Let's uh, get our minds on something else. You ever still think about Ireland? Ah, it's 30 years since I've been there, Leonor. I don't remember anything. <laughs> don't be daft. Uh, tell me a story about uh, when you were a little boy. All right. Did I ever tell you about the time I stole a box of sweets? <laughs> no, you haven't. Uh, I was maybe seven or eight. I was at the corner store with me dad. He gave me enough money for one box. But I thought it wouldn't be grand to get the box for him instead. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm not so sure. I think I'd done something at the time and was trying to make up for it. But as much as I wanted to give him the sweets, I still wanted some, you know? So I bought the one and pocketed the other. Oh, no. And just as soon as I paid a man, I turned around and saw me dad. <gasps> just staring at me. Oh, no. Did he know what you'd done? Or did you get away with it? Well, that's the thing. He... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Stanley! Put your seatbelt on! The left engine's on fire! No, 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 no. Oh, Christ, this isn't good. Stanley, what's happening? Well, go down, love, okay? I need you to hold on. Get in the brace position. No. Leonor. Stanley.
lost in there. I'll never get out. What is this? I was afraid of this. I knew from the moment I saw Stanley clutching that tiny body in his arms that the nightmares had come back. They're worse than ever. I can feel Stanley's heart breaking with every shudder in breath. I heard him say, don't go. Is he talking to me? I'll never leave him. Thermia, thanks for the warning. It's locked. Shit. and I were at Rory's pub when in walked Stanley Whitaker. I picked up my pint and walked over to meet him in the middle of the room. When he saw me coming, his eyes lit up with this big, beautiful, goofy smile. I threw him a drink in his face. Then I grabbed him by his collar and I told him to keep his big trap shut about my father. Stanley blinked away the bear and said he was only looking out for me because Mr. Fancy Shoes was just too good looking and that I should have a plain fella so everyone would notice the beautiful woman. He said I was luminous. Then he said people would also know that I'm brave. God knows why, but I laughed and I asked him, oh, why am I brave? I yet have to be, he said, to be seen with a bloke like me. Well, the entire pub burst into laughter. And then Rory threw him a towel and Stanley caught it without taking his eyes off me. They were the bluest things I'd ever seen. The bastard. I can't wait to see him again. together was only a dream, that I'm still trapped, still locked away in the dark. As I cross this godforsaken island to find you, every agonizing step reminds me that the dream is over, but the pain reminds me that I'm still alive, and as long as I live, there is hope. Leonor, I will find you. I 
will find you. Stunning. It's like a cathedral. like a way out. But I can't climb this ice. Wakes in the world. This fucking island is trying to kill me. <laughs> 